Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my two favorite juicing recipes. We have a green juice and a reddish, orangish juice. My parents started me on juicing when I was about three or four years old. So I've been juicing practically my whole life. And ever since I became a mom, I've been juicing for my kids. Uh, this is something that I really enjoy doing. If you give these recipes a try, let me know in the comments down below. If you have recipes for me to try out, also leave them in the comments down below. Before we get started, remember to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. We're going to start off by cutting our fruits and veggies. And while we do that, let's talk about the health benefits of pineapple. It boosts your immunity. It aids in digestion. It reduces arthritis pain, it strengthens your bones, reduces period cramps, and it can help lower the risk of cancer. Pineapple also aids in weight loss. And it's delicious, so load up on the pineapple. Carrots are a great source of vitamin A, vitamin K, folate, vitamin B6, manganese, potassium, copper, and iron. Don't forget to add an apple to your recipe as an apple a day keeps the doctor away. Beets are a great source of folate, vitamin C, and vitamin B6. Oranges are rich in vitamin C and they boost your immune system. They help detox your body and may help prevent cancer. They also increase your digestion and reduce inflammation. So there you have it. These are the ingredients for the first recipe. If you hear my little baby in the background, don't mind him. He is here taking a look at what mommy is doing. I use this juicer. Um, any juicer will work just as good. One of my biggest pet peeves in my whole entire juicing life is the fact that most juicers, the uh, little thing where the juice comes out, it's so low that it's so hard to find containers or even like a pitcher to put your juice in once the machine finishes juicing all of your fruits and veggies it's usually really really low so i always use like this little piece of wood i don't know if you guys can see it uh, to prop it up a little bit and then i can i have more room to put stuff in there but anyways we're gonna start juicing are you ready to juice all right, so let's get down to the nitty gritty. I'm gonna turn it on. All right, so now we're going to be mixing it and then you can pour it into a glass, a pitcher, your bottle to go. These are super quick and easy to make. This is my mixed juice. My little guy fell asleep and he almost finished his juice. So these are my top two juicing recipes, but this green one is my all-time favorite. This is my go-to drink in the morning. I don't do coffee. And this green juice is excellent because of the ingredients. It's very nutrient rich. The celery is so good to lower your cholesterol and the parsley is good to clean your kidneys. And I just love this green juice. So good all around. These are all of the ingredients I will be using for my green juice. This is a mix of spinach and kale. Kale is known as the queen of greens because it is rich in vitamin K, vitamin A, vitamin C, manganese, calcium and potassium, iron and magnesium. Now one of the main benefits of parsley is that it reduces internal inflammation and helps to cleanse the liver. Celery promotes cardiovascular health, relieves migraines, reduces blood pressure and cholesterol and prevents urinary tract infections in women. Ginger is rich in vitamins E, B6, and vitamin C. It is rich in manganese, iron, selenium, and magnesium. It helps prevent cancer, regulates sugar levels, enhances sexual activity, and it's great at reducing nausea. I will also be including oranges and pineapple to this recipe, and we've already covered the health benefits of each. 
All right, so now let's get to the juicing part. But when I was a kid, I remember my mom would always tell me, you know, like, tomatelo como agua. So I would be just, you know, drinking my little tomato and cucumber juice and it was so nasty. But you know what? I am thankful for that because now I enjoy juicing and I can come up with my own recipes. All, I think all my parents cared about was me drinking my fruits and vegetables, but they would they would juice the most nastiest combinations. Like they would juice cucumbers with tomatoes. I remember it was like, it had like a very vegetable-y, watery taste. And I tried to avoid that when I give that to my children because I want to really enjoy the juice. And when you tell your child, uh, you want some juice, they're of course they're gonna say yes. When you say juice, they think sweet. And, but the cool thing is that you're not gonna be feeding them artificial sweeteners. You're actually giving them real fruits and vegetables. That is one of the reasons why I juice for them. And that is one of the reasons why I juice for myself because there's so many health benefits to juicing. Ooh, this one's a little spicy because of the ginger. And I think I went a little too much on the ginger. This one came out super good. And the only thing with this one, when I go to work, I always try to drink it with a straw because I end up having this funny um, beet colored and carrot colored mustache at work. And heck no, just imagine like working at a law firm and you're walking around looking like a weirdo with, excuse me, with a uh, funny colored mustache. So I always drink this one with a straw. I don't have a straw with me right now, so whatever. Mmm. Ooh. So good. Before we finish the video, another trick I want you guys to know is that all of the waste in here, you can use it to feed your plants. Okay, so instead of throwing it out in the trash, you can go and use it, uh, put it on your plants, like on your trees. If you guys have any like vegetables or fruit trees, you can throw it in there. So all the nutrients and that fiber that's still in the waste, that in the stuff that comes out from the juicing, the from juicing the vegetables and the fruits, throw it on there. And all those vitamins and minerals and the fiber and everything are good for the tree. So that way you you like you're recycling all this stuff. If you give these recipes a try, let me know in the comments down below. If you have recipes for me to try out, also leave them in the comments down below. And I will be leaving all the ingredients for each of the recipes in the description box down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to subscribe and hit that like button. And I will see you on the next video. Bye.